What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, and I'm back with another video, man. You already know what I need you to do. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the notification bell, because it does go a long way with helping out the channel, man. If this is your first time, welcome to Hold My Nuts Podcast, where we talk about everything semen retention and no fap. If you stumbled across this channel, it's no accident. I know why you're here. You're tired of releasing on your keyboards, your laptops, and your desktops. You're tired of being manipulated and dominated by female culture, man. You're in the right place. If you've already been rocking with your boy, man, you already know the love is real. Without further ado, man, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button, man. Go ahead and do that for your boy, man. Let's get into this video, man. What is lust costing you? What is lust costing you? Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson. I'm just doing this video, guys, so you understand that no matter what level you are in life, if you give in to lust, if you give in to these things, it's going to cost you something. And for Deshaun Watson, it's costing him a lot. He hasn't played football in over a year. He may not be able to get on the football field this year. He has a $230 million contract with the Cleveland Browns. And I'm hearing rumors that this contract could be voided because of new information that has come to the surface now. Before I get into it, I want to say I am not accusing Deshaun Watson of doing anything wrong. I'm not. All I'm saying is lust is involved. It's the reason why you wanted 66 massages and massage therapists. I understand, like, I see what he's doing. Okay. Obviously, this is something that has been going on for a while. This is his thing. This is, I guess, a fetish for him um, to where his thing is to have massages. And I guess he likes that whole vibe of having a massage and doing those type of things with a massage therapist and whatever. That's his thing. But what I'm saying is lust is involved. And what lust is costing him is being on the football field, costing him money, costing him a lot of time uh, devoted to fighting these cases. What is lust costing you in your own personal life? It could be costing you production at your job. It could be costing you getting into relationships that uh, are not so good. That's, you know, draining, mentally draining on you could stop you from being able to really push towards your focus. It could cause you to get into um, situations where it's questionable. But going back to what I was saying before, don't want to lose train of thought. I'm going to give you guys a little story. I'm not accusing Deshaun Watson of doing anything wrong. I'm not accusing him of um doing something against a female's will. I'm not accusing him of any type of rape or sexual misconduct. All I'm saying is lust is involved. When it comes to these type of situations where a woman accuses a man of rape or whatever the case may be, I'm a bit more reserved when it comes to that. Not because I don't believe that these things happen. I know they happen. But I've been in situations in college where this has happened to my team. This has happened to me when I was in the seventh grade where I just give you two stories. One, I was in the seventh grade. I was on the bus. This girl I grew up with, she, um, you know, we got into an argument on the bus, you know, and um, I said something to her that she did not like. I think I called her ugly or something like that. The next day, I was in the principal's office. Not only her, but three of her friends said that I had touched them inappropriately. Complete, complete 
lie. This all came about because of what I said to her. I said uh, she was ugly. I'm thinking that's what I said. I don't know for sure. I'm just trying to give some context. I said something that she did not like. The next day I was in the principal's office. The principal, I think he knew that they were lying because their stories weren't adding up. Um, but he did give me in school suspension for three days. I was in in school suspension for three days. This was all a lie. Fast forward. My sophomore year of college basketball team. We had the volleyball girls over. Now, these volleyball girls <laughs> were hanging out, partying with the basketball team. Um, this one particular individual, volleyball girl, she was servicing the whole basketball team. Not myself, not my roommate. We weren't involved in that. But it was going on in our apartment. So she was servicing the whole basketball team. Her teammate gets jealous because she's not getting any attention. Obviously, the attention is being given to the person who's doing the servicing. So she's, she's doing her thing. This girl was actually in my college algebra class. And uh, make a long story short, two or three days later, the basketball team was being called into a conference room to give testimony about what happened that night because allegedly this girl had been sexually assaulted. I'm here to tell you, she was doing this of her own free will. <laughs> That's facts. Right? So they brought us in for questioning. Boom. Hit the record button. And everybody was giving their little whatever about what, what happened. You know, it was just a, a night um, where, you know, things, I won't even say necessarily got out of hand. It was just what college kids do. And, um, Someone went to the principal, or not the principal, but the president or the dean of the school, and um, levied these allegations. It was her teammate. Make a long story short, two of my teammates lost their scholarship. These boys got sent back to the ghetto. One got sent back to Fort Myers. The other one got sent back to small town somewhere around here in Tampa. But their lives were changed. They weren't able to finish school. They weren't able to finish out their scholarship. These boys never got back in school. One has been locked up in prison. Now, fast forward. The same girl. Same girl. Asked me maybe two, two, two or three weeks later if she, you know, if I needed help with algebra if we wanted to study together i'm like i'm like no <laughs> like yeah i'm i'm good you know what i mean i thought like that was weird like why would she ask me to the study considering what just happened a couple of weeks ago fast forward i'm in the apartment this may be two or three months later i'm in the apartment actually this is after the basketball season so this is a good maybe th four months after it happened i'm in the basketball i'm in the in the apartment i'm playing video games Coach has the key to our apartment. He walks in. Just walks in. I'm playing video games. I'm like, oh, boy. My roommate is in the room with this girl going to town. The same girl who supposedly was sexually assaulted. He's in the room with her going to town. When I see him walk in, I just, I just shake my head and I just keep playing the game. Right? I'm like, it, it is what it is. He walks out. He's, he's highly disappointed. Highly disappointed because my roommate was supposed to be on a visit to a school out in Virginia, but he had already signed a scholarship to go to another school in Georgia. So he skipped out on the visit. To coach's surprise, he was wondering why he was here with this girl. I know what happened. He was disappointed because he knew from that moment that he sent these two dudes home for no reason. This was all lies, man. They lost their scholarship, but no one went to jail. No one was charged. So I say all that to say this. When it comes to these type of issues, I like to wait for the facts to come out. I know it happens, but I don't think it happens 
in a lot of these situations. Getting back to Deshaun Watson. This brother has a problem that allowed him to just be so reckless, especially a guy of his caliber where he could have easily avoided this. But this is what happens when lust controls you. This is what happens when lust overrides your decision making. This is what happens when lust has, is completely dominating your psyche. He exposed himself to so many women. And I'm assuming, this is just my assumption, he said something inappropriate. He disrespected one of these females. He did something to tick somebody off. And she said, okay, I'm going to get you. I'm going to bring you down. Right? Because you have clout. Same thing with Johnny Depp. You have you have a status, you have a, a public perception, you're a public figure. This is going to cause you problems. Whether or not it's true, the allegations is going to cause a whirlwind of problems for you. And that's exactly what it did. Not only her, but 22 other females came out and said that he did the same thing to them, that he was sexually assaulting them. That he was doing inappropriate things during the sessions. And now he has a world of trouble that he's trying to get out of because of lust. A guy like this could have easily went to Las Vegas where prostitution is legal. And had all the massages and all kind of went to all the brothels and, and did whatever it is he wanted to do. But lust takes away your rationality, especially in the heat of the moment. Lust will rule over you, dominate you, and cause you to do things that are unseemingly who you are. Cause you to do things that just Don't add up. They don't add up. What is lust costing you in your life? You got to be careful with this. It's not just releasing. You know, you can release in the comfort of your own home and you're going to get the, the you know, um, you're going to get the uh, the negative effects of that. Low energy, low libido eventually, low confidence, all that type of jazz, right? But what is lust costing you? Uncontrolled lust could cost you going too far, not being smart. I'm Deshaun Watson. I don't have to. Get off getting massages, man. I mean, just get you a chick that's infatuated with the fact that you are who you are. And then just tell her to give you a massage, but you already got a relationship going on. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to do this with all these random different people. You've exposed yourself to a lot of random different people. But this is lust. With the excessive amount of massages requested. This is lust. This is a fetish that he has. What is lust costing you? Is it costing you your job? Is it costing you your marriage? Is it costing you the ability to achieve your goals? What is lust costing you? Man, if you're getting value from this video, hit the Smash the like button. Smash it. What is lust costing you? The Bible clearly warns us. Are you breaking up marriages? Because you're so lustful that you're willing to cross that line. You're willing to cross that line. 
What is lust costing you? Deshaun Watson. You have everything you could possibly want. And this is a this is a a, a, a a pure sign that money cannot get you everything you want. Get all the money, still not satisfied. Cars, houses, expensive restaurants, clothes and jewelry, whatever you want, right? But something inside of him sexually was not satisfied to the point to where he overexposed himself to these massages and these women came at him to take from him because he has status. Every woman is going to look at you, what your status level is. They're going to try to take from you. When you go through divorce, women try to come at your status. During the relationship, you ain't, you're nobody to them in most cases. As soon as you get divorced, oh, he makes this, he does this, he got that. Now they're banking on your status. They're banking on your financial prowess to take from you. What is lust costing you? God's got to be able to control that lust. Lust will have you doing stupid things. Lust will have you going back into relationships you shouldn't go back into. This is the truth. Lust will have you going back to consume your own vomit. Returning to your own vomit. This is what lust will do to you. Deshaun Jackson. Hold your nuts, dog. Hold your nuts, man. You gotta hold them. He wasn't desecrating keyboards, laptops, and desktops. But obviously, something was going on in those massage sessions. And again, I'm not accusing him of doing anything criminal. I am accusing him of being reckless. And this is not a judgment against Deshaun Watson because we've all been reckless. We've all compromised something that we know we care dear about, but we sacrificed it for the sake of pleasure. Deshaun Watson has sacrificed his career for the sake of pleasure. Would you trade your career throwing footballs for NFL franchise at a high level? Millions of dollars, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars to get off for two and a half, three seconds in a massage session. Sounds irrational, right? It's easy to point the finger and say, oh, he's stupid, he's stupid, he's stupid, he's stupid. But we do it, we do it. We sacrifice whatever it is we sacrifice for the sake of those small pleasures. What is lust costing you is the purpose of this video. I want you to examine what is lust costing you. What is it? Evaluate that. Cut that out. Get into God's word and fight. Go on a fast. If you're feeling frisky, go on a fast, man. Go on a fast. Ask God to keep you from these Jezebels. Keep you from these harlots. Keep you from these blood-sucking leeches. Keep you from these witches. Ask God to protect you. Read Psalms 91, man. This is Holman Us Podcast. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. I'm out.